Now number six from paper two of the 2016 higher maths here for five marks, you've got a growth of the equation question. Part A, state the number of, it's meant to represent number of B bacteria after a certain time, and that time is in hours. And it says state the number of bacteria present at the start. Now the usual form for a growth equation would be the value at a certain time would be the initial value times the growth factor, which is usually the form of kt. And as long as that just says t on its own, not some linear function of t, then that must be the initial amount. So here they're letting you say for part a, what's the initial amount? So I'll just call that b naught. That initial amount must be 200, and if you just state that, you'll get the mark. If you're not sure what it is at the start, then simply put the start into the equation, because at the start, time is zero. And you know that e to the zero is one. So that means you're just left with 200. Now for part B, so how long would it take for the number of bacteria to double? Well, there's two ways of approaching that. You could state it straight away. It'll double when the growth factor becomes 2. So you could leap straight in with, with saying that means that e to the 0.107t should equal 2. And certainly, if you do that, you'd get a mark. But you're probably better off, especially in situations where it's not quite as neat as doubling and so on, just make the statement. Doubling means, since I've got a number here, I'll actually have 400. In which case, if it doubles, that means I'll have 400. So how long would it take this 200 to become 400? So that's substituting the value you're looking for into it. How long would it take to get to 400? And of course, taking that across and dividing just gives you your e to the point 107t equals 2. There's the first mark. Now it comes to this thorny little business here. Well, the very first thing that that you do in here, higher is you're introduced to the logarithm as the inverse function to the exponential function. This is an exponential function, base e. So quite rightly, you can just say the next line in that is 0.107t will be the inverse of the exponential function acting on both sides. So that'll be log base e of 2. Now it does let you put that down. And if that's all you put down, then you get two marks for that line. But that is what should go down mm. with a proper understanding Ooh, of the functions that and their inverses. But it appears here that what they're actually looking for you to do is apply a logarithm to both sides, not because it's the inverse, but because by applying a logarithm, you can extract a power. So the next line they're saying, you would write ln of e to the 0.107t, where ln stands for log base e, and apply the logarithm to the other side, because you do the same thing to both sides of an equation to maintain the same solutions. That gets a mark. And then the next line... Oh, are you going to mention inverse again? ...simply says this. And initially I thought, oh good, at least they're recognising that the logarithm is the inverse function ah, of the exponential go. function, and that's how that part's disappeared. But apparently not, because of that statement in the marking scheme, which says you would still get this mark for applying log base anything to the side. So that's that. Inverse out of the window then. Oh, so that means that this line down. going to this Just line must have been by thinking that, well, ln of e to the zero point, of course, this is what they show you in the schools. Well, they do what they're told. Logarithm of e to the power whatever allows you to take that power to the front, one of the laws of logs, and then ln of e is just in any base, log base a of a, always equals one. So it's that times one, and that's how you get to this. Ah, whatever, keep them happy. Yes, let Next it line, go. it's let just the case of, to get t in its own, I'll take that across and divide. t equals ln of two divided by 0 0.107. Notice, applied the inverse, dividing by it. I can't help one last week, Dick. And if you put that into your calculator, you then get 6.478 and so on. So if I round that off, well, this has only got three significant figures in it, to three significant figures, I'll get 6.48, and that was in hours. That's the final mark.